Hello folks, FJ Caron here. If you're interested in collecting military surplus weapons, whether you're a collector, a shooter, or into gunsmithing, why don't you head on over to Marshall Zukov's channel and check him out. He has a lot of interesting videos related to these topics. Gunsmithing, cleaning techniques, how-tos, historical overviews, and some shooting videos as well. And if you want to see more on this topic, go ahead and check out my channel as well. Hey, this is Marshall Zhukov, and here we are together again on YouTube. I've got uh, six rifles set out here. Do a little bit of shooting today. Uh, something brights out in the sky. Standard operating procedure usually with uh, rifle videos when I shoot them. If I haven't shot them before, I like to shoot them at 25 yards. So we're going to bust out the uh, 1895 Winchester. The 1900 Tula, the 1895 Shadow Row M91. There is my 1916 Peter the Great M91, SVT40, and the 1894 Sestresk 9138. So we'll get her set up and get going. Alright, 1895 Winchester's up first. Far right target. Shooting some Romanian surplus. All right, we'll do three and then stop. Okay, here's a 1900 Tula. And this is going to be on the uh, right target, the one on the left. Okay, the 1900 tool is having some problems, so we're skipping it. We're going to shoot the uh, middle target, diamond on the right, 1895 Shadow Row. Okay, 1916 Tula Peter the Great, target in the middle, diamond on the left. Alright, the 41 Tula SVT, target on the left, diamond on the right. And six is it. All right, here is the 1895, correction, 1894, Sister Ray, it's 9138 carbine. Target on the left, diamond on the left. All right, we'll do a close-up exam of our targets here. The uh, the 1895 didn't do too bad. I 
I'm not really disappointed with that. It looks like it'll shoot pretty high at, uh, well, probably maybe four or five inches high at 100 yards. We'll see when we back out to 100. The first shot, top right, on the uh, right diamond is, uh, is a flyer. Now, I've never had any problem with any of the Bulgarian surplus ammo that I've used, and I'm not using Bulgarian surplus today. The, uh, this stuff, I think it's Romanian, and, uh, I am not happy with it at all. It's, uh, on the, uh, 1900 Tula fin capture, I had a, a problem. I, I could not get the empty shell to extract properly, and, uh, I've never had this problem with any of my other rifles shooting uh, Bulgarian surplus so I don't know if it's ammo or what but uh, it does not like that Tula 1900 moving on over that I believe is the uh, 1895 Shadow Row and uh, it shot beautifully I'm pretty happy with that 25 yards could have been a little tighter but that's the first time actually that I've shot it since I've had it and uh, then moving on over more issues again with uh, the ammo not extracting properly so I just said screw it and uh, finally moving over far left we can see the SVT target there on the diamond on the right six shots not too bad for eh, semi rapid fire not really super fast but not really super duper slow so uh, I was surprised that actually doesn't have a lot of recoil so it's pretty nice and then uh, the one on the left here that's the uh, 9138 carbine the 1894 Sestroyetsk and uh, eh, that's okay didn't do too bad I, I had a one one problem with uh, a shell not extracting at all the extractor wouldn't hold on to it tight enough to pull it out so I mean I've cleaned all these before I've shot them so I don't think it's my cleaning ability I think it's the ammo that's uh, not performing well enough but uh, a test on that would uh, have to be determined by using some different ammo in it so maybe next time I'll bring some Bulgarian and shoot that but I've not had issues like that before with uh, ammunition so we'll get her set up to 100 and uh, go again only two calories alright got a few little targets there Let's see if we can't shoot them That was too easy. All right, I got that one. It just knocked over, but it was fun. Doesn't that just look cool sitting there? It's like it's in its element. It is. <clears throat> well, we blew some water up on everything and some dirt, but that's okay. Bottom target. 1895 Winchester. Hey, it's the first time I shot it. Not too disappointed. A uh, little practice. Shrink those groups down. Then the uh, 1895 Shadow Row. Last one down here. A little bit of a flyer. The trigger on there, it needs a little work, but you know, it's not exactly like a target shooting rifle, but for four out of the five there in the orange, uh, I'm happy with that. And actually, I was aiming at the bottom of the diamond. So, that one's actually pretty much shooting right on. Oh, what the heck was this? I don't remember. And then I took a couple shots. The 9138, uh, it wasn't, the ammo wasn't going through it, so I just didn't even bother. So those two right there are my SVT on the top left. And uh, this one down here, that was the SVT. There's five of them there. This is still on the tripod, so we got one, two, three, four, and five over here. But uh, that's not too bad. The sights on it are kind of small, but ah, without a doubt, with some practice. I wouldn't have a problem keeping them all in the red. So I'm really liking this SVT. I think I'll have to shoot it some more.